Hello guys and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ash Grey. My name is Tom and we are at the house of Imite. Last time we said we'd discuss, we'd find out what was going on inside and that's what we're going to do today. What? It's me! Let's talk to me. Hi, my name's Ash. Well actually, I'm... <laughs> I love to imitate people. And this is the house of Imite. I'm hoping to protect all my... If you don't think... Let's have a little match then you'll understand, Ashy boy. Duplica. Sending out Ditto at level 35. We'll go with Bulbasaur and the Toxic ability. She's turned into Bulbasaur. Of course that doesn't work on my own type. Neither does that. But you see, the mistake she made is imitating me. And I'll tell you why. Because her ditto is now a Bulbasaur. So I'm going to use Pidgeotto. I've still got that need around female. I should have released it. I will do as soon as I've beaten Duplica. So it's using my own grass type strategy against me. But that's okay. It is using my toxic leech seed. You'll see now exactly what I was trying to do. The toxic leech seed Giga Drain tactic. Loads of health sap between turns and then quite a bit of health sap during the turn. That's the strategy I was gonna. Uh, I've I've got set for Bulbasaur. She's using exactly the same strategy I would. It's okay. I think I can win. She is doing quite a bit of damage though. She's actually knocked out Pidgeotto. So that's quite irritating. <laughs> I should have. Cured Charmander, but I didn't think. Never mind. Go. Go, Pikachu. One electric attack should do it. Thunderbolt. So it might have perfected this transform ability, but. It hasn't got me, has it? I guess I showed you how powerful imitation can be. What really is to be, I want to be put on shows with my Ditto and Imitate Pokemon. That's why I opened this house of Imitate. I want to get it up and running Ditto and I will become world famous impersonators. So let's just go, shall we? Huh? Your Pikachu looks exhausted. Maybe you should take it to the nearest Pokemon Center. Oh, I think it means go onwards to the next Pokemon Center. I think the storyline. It's a wild Pikachu. Let's follow it. Let's follow it now. Something going on here. There's loads of wild Pikachu. I remember this. Better go back because we're supposed to. Something's supposed to happen here, I think. It's a group of wild Pikachu. Your Pikachu looks like it wants to play with them. See, this is why you're not supposed to evolve Pikachu because this happens. It looks so happy with all the other Pikachu. Maybe. Maybe it would be best to leave it behind. I'm going to... I'm going to be careful here guys, because I don't want to lose it. It's an important guy in my team. So what I'm going to do is save the game. Here. Like that. Backup file. Now if anything goes wrong, I can always reload. To this point. 
and say no. Would you like to leave Pikachu with the wild Pikachu in the forest? Yes. Whoa, 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 no. I'll pick the wrong one. <laughs> that was a fail. We'll do that again this time. Look so happy. Pikachu returned. It looks like it would rather stay with you. The Pikachu were cheering for Ash and Pikachu. I love that episode. Eevee! It's an Eevee, but it might have a trainer. It has a tag on its collar that says Stone Town. Maybe you should return it to its owner. How about it? You can't return Eevee to the owner. You don't have room for it. Okay. So we need to find the nearest Pokemon Center first and get rid of that irritating Nidoran female that we caught by mistake. Is there a center around here? There must be. Sleeping Snorlax, that's the episode coming up, but we're going to have to go all the way back, aren't we? Hope not. There must be a center around here somewhere. Dark City. <laughs> you trying to do anywhere? Okay, I think we're going to have to go backwards a bit, guys, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to load that file from the Pikachu Forest. I'm going to go backwards now. I'm going to go back up to the last Pokemon Center, get everyone healed, and then, and then get rid of that, and release that Nidoran female that I said I would a few episodes ago. So we'll do that now. Let's get rid of that need around somebody at the computer. What's the No, I don't. Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys, if you have an epileptic reaction. I didn't want this to happen. I genuinely have no idea what the hell's going on here, and I was, I was going to avoid this one, to be honest. Electric shot, soldier Porygon. I hate this one. Oh. This is so tough. I'm trying to get this through as quickly as possible. I wasn't supposed to do this one yet. Oh no. This is horrendous. Even I can feel my brain fizzing a little bit. So they've got a Porygon. 
Team Rocket send out Porygon, level 40. Bulbasaur go. We didn't even have a chance to heal because I didn't want this to happen. But we'll use our toxic strategy and hopefully we can knock that thing down, alright? It can lock in, but it's gonna poison's gonna get worse and worse every turn. So even if Bulbasaur does go now, everyone gets a boost boost in HP. So that's a useful tactic, you see. It's hurt by poison, which is gonna get worse and worse every turn. Giga Drain. But this um this part that you see now in this in the game, uh now this part wasn't originally supposed to be well, this part was originally from the Electric Soldier Porygon, or Gaio Senshi Porygon, uh, which was released in Japan as Gaio Senshi Porygon and never ever left Japan because it killed some Japanese kids had seizures. If you look up the banned Pokemon episode, this is the one that is usually mentioned. So yeah, this is the banned Pokemon episode, Electric Soldier Porygon. Bulbasaur is trying to evolve. I don't think so, son. So we're gonna stop that. That is not being allowed. A vaccine was released into the program. It looks like it's time for us to blast off again to the real world. Ash, quickly, I must transport you back to the real world before the virus traps you in the digital world. Hold on. One, two, go. You did it. You stopped the virus and saved Porygon. Now we can transfer Pokemon again. For saving Porygon and the Pokemon being transferred from this center, please take this as my gift. The upgrade. Now the upgrade is what you would use to evolve a Porygon, but we ain't gonna get a Porygon in this, so we're gonna go to Oak's lab and we're gonna do some depositing. Well, firstly, deposit, need around female, you're only getting deposited for five bloody minutes because How do I do that? I want to go across to here. You see, we've got three Tauros now. And I want to release you. So you were caught by mistake, you see. So you're gone now. So we'll heal our Pokemon and we'll head back forward. We're going to do the Eevee side quest that we saw earlier, guys. <laughs> Hope none of you are lying on the floor dead, but I will put a warning in the description. Uh, to make sure that people don't <laughs> uh, die, really. <sighs> my eyes are. St my, I'm. I'm gonna have to. Um, oh, it's a jinx. Let's do it. It's a jinx carrying a book. On the inside is a picture of Santa Claus. A Lapras appeared. Oh Lord. We got. We, we keep. Accidentally bumping into loads of small episodes. This is very irritating. Um, but we've got to do the, the Christmas episode now, um, which was a weird episode where Ash and his team met Father Christmas. So this is quite um, a bit annoying. But of course, size types, and that's a uh, good leveling for Bulbasaur. I mean, Charmander, of course. And we've got Flamethrower now as well. Although ice types are probably weak against Pikachu, aren't they? But I'm gonna have to uh, nip back in a bit, guys. I need to do so. I need to um, uh, do some preparation before we do this episode. I'm gonna take a break, rest my eyes because of that Electric Soldier Porygon episode that really did do a number on my brain. So I'm gonna take a few and continue this in a few seconds to you. So, yep, I'll see you guys later. And we are back, guys. Yeah, um, big break here. That was only, that was, I did originally say that's going to be like a short break for me. But no, it was about six or seven hours. But I'm back now and we're going to explore the North Pole. And hopefully not, in, not, and hopefully not run into any angry elves annoyed about why I'm here. Because you know you're not supposed to look behind the look behind the magic curtain or anything. What runs what runs around wild here? I'm interested. It's a shelter. 
Hmm. Screw that. I don't need a shoulder. But yeah, this is um this 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 bit of this bit bit of content is the one of my least favourite episodes because it didn't make any sense. It didn't really fit in and I mean it was about Santa Claus for Christ's sake. Who seemingly might well be this fat fellow over here. Let's talk to him. So by the looks of things I get given a Christmas present, which is a pokey doll from Santa Claus. Merry Christmas, Ash. Seriously, is that it? By the, by the looks of things, yeah. Okay. I uh, came all the way to the North Pole to pick up a poker doll. Oh. Hey then. If you guys look away for a minute, we'll pretend like this didn't just happen. And that I didn't just travel halfway around the world for a pointless bloody pokey doll. Do you think we can all do that? Close your eyes, spin around three times on the spot. And say Imagination Island. Imagination Island, Imagination Island, Imagination Island. How the hell do we get off this island? Ah! I don't want to battle any more seal! They're overpowered and pointless! Seriously! No more wild Pokemon! Where's that fucking Lapras? There it is! Ah! Another bloody seal! No, it's a shelter! It's even worse! Get me the hell out of here! I want to go back to civilization. It's cold and I'm here in a t-shirt and shorts! Would you like to return to the real world? Yes. Yes, I would. And that's over. Black exploitation element of the episode is now over. And um, I'll go into detail about what that is. Uh, Jinx was originally banned uh, around the world because of its resemblance of a blacked up white person. Big, big pink lips and jet black skin. To the degree that Nintendo actually modified the design of Jinx and made its skin purple in future cartoons. So yeah, this ep this that episode was actually banned as well. I suppose we've got to do this again, haven't we? So it's a group of wild Pikachu. Your Pikachu looks like it wants to play with them. Now I know we did this earlier, but we're going to do it again. Let's do it. We did it last time. We know it. We know it goes well. So, so yeah, we've just voluntarily left Pikachu behind again. Uh, but it's no problem because this happens. We get awesome music, and he comes back to us, and he stays forever. The Pikachu are cheering for Ash and Pikachu. That's good. But now we've got a gap in our team, so we can pick up this lonely sod. Come on, Eevee. You're coming to my dungeon. That's right. Come on. Come on, you pointless little fennec fox. I'm going to dump you later anyway. What's going on here? Stone Town. Right. There's a small boy here. I hid it in the forest so that my brothers wouldn't make it evolve. They're known as the Eevee. They're known as the Eevee brothers because they all have ev evolutions of Eevee. But I just want to be an Eevee trainer. I'll take Eevee back now. Are you sure you don't want one of my other Pokemon? Eevee's quite overpowered and I'd quite like to keep it forever. Thanks for bringing Eevee back to me. So now what we can do here is we can actually battle every evolution of Eevee. Well, the three that existed to this point. So a Vaporeon, a, a Jolteon and a Flareon. 
so we'll use our fire type here. Yeah. Well, that's only going to go well, I'm sure. On the Jolteon. We did burn it, so that is quite good. And it's only using Thundershock. But it did nearly kill us. We are going to have to use an item, I think. Use a Hyper Potion. And it died of burn. Charmander got a hell of a boost to energy from that. Hella boost. So next we've got the fire type, who's got a flamey on. So of course we'll use flamethrower on it. No, he's got firepower. So we're stuck to use seismic toss. So let's toss flamethrower off. Yes, I'm aware of what I just said. Oh, come on, why do I keep missing? Bloody sand attack. It's alright, no problem. Go water type. Because I've, got, I've like got, totally got the type coverage down and stuff. Really, you're playing that card, are you? Don't know what the hell we're going to do about the, uh, fl the Vaporeon. Oh yeah, we've got grass type. Sorted. Don't die, you're a turtle. Seriously, don't die. Well then. You beat something that's type that's type weak against you. I've got a shit ton of experience though. And next we're going to use our our grass type on the water type. We'll go with the Toxic Leech Seed Giga Drain combo. He's going to hit us hard though, so let's go with Leech Seed first this time. We'd like the energy. Toxic next. This is virtually a foolproof move as well. Because it's double, it's double weakness at the end of the turn. And we'll go with Giga Drain here. And I'm hope, hope, hopefully the worsened poison and the leech seed should do it from here. Yeah, it will. No water type's got a shot against Bulbasaur. And look, it's like he hasn't lost any health at all, because he hasn't. It's all gone back up. And he's up at level 30. All of my starter guys are only 6 levels from do being able to do the double evolution, but none of them are going to need to. Well, Charmander will in a bit. So doing this we get all of the evolutionary stones and we'll And with that we have finished the EV side quest. Now there's a geezer on a rock. Groovy Greetings child of the universe What I'm not alone, I've got my music. Anybody recognise the song? He has the pokey flute. So 
There's a house here. Door's locked. And there seems to be a small axe asleep on the road. We'll do something about that, shall we? Might as well. There's a strange, balding fella here. My crabs are all dried up! Something is blocking the river from flowing down to them. If I don't get any water, my family will starve. So, there's trees behind Snorlax, but we can't do anything about Snorlax himself because we've got to wake him up and we haven't got the flu. But this geezer over here has, but first we're going to cut the trees behind him because that way when he wakes up and um, we knock him out, hopefully, we're not supposed to get a Snorlax yet. We should have the scene where all the water comes out. A Snorlax blocking the river? That little dude is mine! Loves to snooze. Can't even take it for a walk. I just come to wake it up once a month. You wanna move it? Here, use my flute to wake it up. Free of charge, that's what free love's all about. So now we've got the pokey flute. Let's go back around this farm here and let's wake this fat fellow up. Wanna wanna use the poker flute, yes. I don't really wanna have to battle the, the bloody thing, but I'm, I know I'm gonna have to. Snorlax woke up, it attacked in a grumpy rage. No shit. I'm gonna poison it and hope it dies soon. Toxic. Oh, you can't poison it because of its immunity. That's a lucky ability. Now I'm gonna fall asleep too. Leech seed. How did it evade it to sleep? So am I. <sighs> Pikachu? I don't know. Need to do something about it. Thunderbolt do it, I wonder? Not really. It knocked my level 800 Pikachu out. But it is paralysed. We ran away. The water's back. So now we go back around the river again. The river is flowing again. Now I can feed my family. Let me give you something as a little thanks for your effort. The Miracle Seed! That is awesome! Because that we can use! All this crap that people keep giving us for helping them We've finally been given something we can put to use. But not yet. Because we can use that to power up grass type moves. That makes our um, Giga Drain Leech Seed tactic even more powerful. We really need a Pokemon Center like yesterday. I don't remember what happened in Stone Town, but get back inside the house right now. What if there are Pokemon trainers out? So by the looks of things, people around these parts don't like Pokemon trainers. I think I know what that means. I think that means we're heading up towards the town with the two warring gyms. Dark City, yes. Let's go into the diner. You're a Pokemon trainer? Try not to take offence to our townspeople. They're simply afraid of trainers. Please let me explain. In Dark City there are two Pokemon gyms. Yaz Gym and Kaz Gym. 
The two gyms are in the middle of a gang war and will hire any wandering Pokemon trainers as soldiers to battle for them. They claim that whatever gym will become an official Pokemon gym. Hey Cook, give us the free lunch, give us the lunch special for 30 people. We have to be at Cash Gym in less than an hour. What? So what if we haven't paid our tab? Don't make us rough you up with our Pokemon. Huh? The twerp, stay out of this. Oh great, I've got a battle and I haven't had a chance to heal up. Well, this is uh, this is only going to go well. At least we've got Bulbasaur and his um, foolproof poison. Poison. Oh yeah, he's asleep from the last battle. Switch out. <sighs> Let's go to our go-to bird type again. Quick attack. Legs start to die. It's coming up on the end of this one, so we'll probably do the rest of Dark City in the next episode. Depends how long it takes me to knock that coughing into existence. Oh, great. Pidgeotto's down. Might as well let Squirtle step in. Bulbasaur's still asleep. Bulbasaur will wake up, I'm sure. I hope. I don't want to faint and end up back at the Pokemon Center sh um, in the arse end of nowhere again. I'm going to take a turn to bring somebody back. And then next time I get to a Pokemon Zone, I'm going to dump some of this crap in the computer. Seriously, I've got more crap than I need. Bring my Pidgeotto. Bloody hell, this is getting quite close to ruinous uh, failure here. So let's bring that Pikachu. I really wish I, wish I was fully healed before I went into this. Because I'm in no way in a, good, in a good state to be doing these battles. Travelling for hours. <laughs> Pikachu's got it. Pikachu's got it all in line. That's Team Rocket Dan. Maybe the bodyguard game isn't for us. We'll finish you off next time to work. Team Rock is blasting off again. Thank you for saving my restaurant. Now, can we get to a Pokemon Center before some idiot attacks us? There's a Nurse Joy hanging out in the middle. Hmm? Okay, I'm just an innocent bystander, of course. But let me heal your Pokemon for you. Thank Christ for that. Now then. One gym is led by a Scyther, which Charmander's got his arms all over, and the other gym is led by an Electabuzz. So let's put the Lucky Egg on Charmander, and we will do one of these gyms in the next episode. See you guys then.